Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for another Ghost Recon Wildlands video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about some of the things that you may have missed in the PvP trailer and uh, some of the other things that Ubisoft and Ghost Recon have told us over the last couple weeks since we've seen the PvP. Um, there's just a few things that you may have missed. Um, I know that the PvP trailer was quite quick and, uh, you know, talking about the Ghost War uh, 4v4 PvP. But uh, I'm going to go through a few things here that you guys may have missed. You might not have. I'm not saying that you missed it or anything. But I just kind of want to go over a few things that I thought uh, were kind of some key points, you know, to PvP. So the first thing here is the actual heads-up display. Now, all of these screenshots and stuff are actually from the two trailers that we got from Ubisoft. And you can see the heads-up display that's uh, around the screen. You know, you have your map, you have your weapons and stuff down the bottom left. But up at the top, you have all of those things up at the top like that that looks exactly like Rainbow Six Siege's multiplayer, which is really what I think they're trying to build this game around is kind of being a much more open tactical PvP, sort of like um, Rainbow Six Siege, because Rainbow Six Siege has great success with their PvP. And one of the other things is you can kind of see um, how similar it is. And then like down in the bottom right hand corner, you actually have a map. You do not actually have that in Rainbow Six Siege because the maps aren't really that big. Um, and then you have some of the other things down in the bottom left, which we already have in the main game. But then you see towards the left side there, it says Intel item available. And then here you guys can kind of see the drone and stuff. So I'm assuming with the Intel, you're going to be able to kind of get little hints of Intel or with the towers that are actually in the map, you can kind of gain Intel on your other players. But as of here, you can see that they spotted one person, but the other three at the top are unmarked, so they don't know what characters they play as. And here you can also see um, your first look at the kill feed and then also um, the, the XP and stuff that you earn right there in the middle of the screen. Um, last man standing and he killed somebody, he got 150 XP. So overall, the heads-up display, I really strongly feel as if they're sort of leaning toward, you know, Rainbow Six Siege. And uh, that's not a bad thing because Rainbow Six Siege was a huge success when it came to PvP. And they're kind of building on that with Ghost Recon Wildlands. It's just a little bit sad that they kind of waited so long to bring us PvP. But uh, overall, I really think this is going to kind of compare to, you know, Rainbow Six Siege. So this is, you know, like I said, I could go on and on about it, but uh, we're going to kind of get into the next topic. So the next topic is basically with the XP that you earn in game. So you earn XP in the PvP. What kind of a ranking system is there going to As you guys can see here, this person was killed by Alicia uh, by the SR-25, and it says right next to it, level zero. So I'm not sure entirely if that is the weapon level, if you can actually rank up your weapons in PvP, or that's the level of the character that you got killed by. So two things you can take from that, you know, like I said, you can rank up your guns or there is going to be some sort of a ranking system to kind of level up your character, which I strongly believe that's what it is. And then here you guys can see that, like I said, the 100 XP you earn from that, it's kind of carries on into that thing with, with how much of a ranking system is this going to have? Is this going to have a super duper in depth? Is it going to be being able to rank up your weapons under like single player? You know, how deep are they going to go with the progression system? Because I really think for longevity of this game, yeah, it could be fun to be able to play competitive style you know just for public matches for fun in this team death mode 4v4 tactical pvp but for the longevity of it it really needs to have some sort of you know a ranking system a very in-depth ranking system um with weapons you know your character you're bringing on to unlock new gear and stuff like that and then actually your level itself you know for the longevity of pvp needs to have that sort of a leveling system. I don't know about the in-depth like Call of Duty has with prestiging and stuff, but overall it needs a good system. And then here we're going to be talking about the recon towers. So as you can see there towards the right-hand side, you have the tower that has the three lights up on top. This is in every PvP map. They showed it in several instances in the actual um, reveal trailer. And then also they showed it with the community trailer, talking to some of the community members that actually got to play it. And we don't know exactly what this is, you know, at least I don't. And here's a screenshot of it so you can see how it has that little shimmer that goes across it, just like an ammo box or a laptop or anything like that is. So I'm assuming you get up on that and then you hack the intel or something out of it and it's going to give you the enemy player positions. And then here you can actually see it on the map. This was actually in, I believe, the community trailer. Um, and you can see that it's 39 meters to the intel. And I'm assuming if you get over to that intel, it's going to give you some more information on what, uh, you know, where your enemies and stuff are 
Um, but th that's a big key feature that's added to each of the PvP maps, and I'm really curious to see exactly how that works. Um, because I did not actually get a chance to play the closed beta. Um, hopefully you guys did know there was a closed beta. I hope I'm not against the rules by saying there was a closed beta. But uh, I did not have time to actually play it this last weekend. So hopefully I'll get some good gameplay of the open beta when that comes out. But, uh, you know, right now it's kind of pure speculation for myself on exactly how PvP works. Because I haven't got any hands on with it yet. But hopefully here soon we will get access to the open beta so we can all kind of feel, you know, how PvP is going to work. But like I said at the beginning of the video... I really feel as if it's going to be sort of like an open, a more open play style version of Rainbow Six Siege. Like I said, with Rainbow Six Siege's huge success, I don't blame them for trying to model this game a little bit after that. And I really look forward to seeing exactly what they all bring to the table. But that is pretty much all for the video, guys. Just kind of letting you guys know on some things that you may have missed. Like I said, I know that there's some of you guys out there are going to be like, you know, I didn't miss any of that. That's pretty blatant. That's pretty, you know, easy stuff to see. But I just kind of wanted to break some of that down for you guys so you guys can kind of get a little bit of it from my perspective. But uh, like I said, that's pretty much all for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new and turn on post notifications so you do not miss any of my uploads. I haven't uploaded in about five or six days, guys. I do apologize for that, but I've been really busy with work and just kind of doing some personal stuff and also kind of playing a couple other games on my PC. But, uh, you know, thank you guys so much for tuning into the video and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.